This is actually going to be my March 2017 favorites, and I really don't have a ton of them here, but that'll be okay because it'll just be a quicker video for you guys. So this first item, I actually only used it twice, but I am in love with this thing. Depending on what you put this item over the top of, it will completely change the look of it. So this is actually a polish from Sinful Colors, and this is more of like a flaky glitter top coat. This one is in number 220, Green Ocean, and I just think this looks absolutely beautiful, not only in the bottle, but on the nails as well. I actually have this over a black polish on my nails right now, and maybe you can see like right as the light hits it, it looks green, and then in kind of a little bit of the shadow, it has this bluish, indigo purple sort of color to it, but I think it's beautiful and depending on what you put it over, it completely changes the look of the little glittery pieces. I tried it over a pink, like a super fluorescent pink. I liked that. I swatched it out on a nail wheel and over like a deep blue color. It looks gorgeous. Purple looks amazing. Green looks awesome. This is a really fun polish. I think I have seen this in stores recently and I think I picked this one up either last year or the year before. There's probably five or six polishes out for St. Patrick's Day so it's pretty fitting that I have this in a favorites video in March a year or two later. So that was the first one. Then I have two perfumes that I wanted to discuss a little bit. This first one, this is actually a newfound favorite and I'm really liking it. So I actually only have two little mini sprayer vial things, but that's all right. Eventually, after I move out some of my other perfumes, I would like to purchase a full size bottle of this, but as of right now, I just have the Candy Yum Yum fragrance from MAC, and I have two little samplers here. This stuff smells so good. A lot of the new fragrances, I think they're called the Shade Select fragrances. I don't like them. I think there's one other one. It might be Ruby Woo. One of them smells kind of like apples, and then this one just smells delicious. It has this really nice, sweet, crisp fragrance to it. It's like a citrusy sweet. If I can find the notes, I'll put them up on the screen for you guys, but... Mm, I just like this one. This is my favorite out of all of the new fragrances that they just released. So this is what the little sampler guy looks like. And I was really curious because on MAC items, if you can back to MAC them, um, they do have this little thing when you open it up, it says back to MAC on the little flap of the top. And so you can take six empty products and bring them, bring them into a MAC store or send them in online and exchange them in for either an eyeshadow, a lipstick, or a lip gloss. And the little sample here says back to MAC on it. So I'm not sure if they just want you to recycle the little vial or if you can actually accumulate a handful of these little mini sprayers. I can't imagine that they'd give you a free lipstick if you brought in six little freebie sprayers, but I don't know, that was really weird. I emailed them and they just sent me back some generic response about the Back to Mac program, so I don't know. I'll have to ask them in store next time I'm there. The other fragrance that I wanted to talk about is one that's been a very long time favorite. I've actually been wearing this perfume since 2007, so it's been 10 years now that I've been wearing this perfume, but this is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb perfume. I really like the Flower Bomb Extreme that they have. I think that one was limited edition though. I'm not sure if that's still available. But this is just the original. I, I do really like the Bon Bons one, but this one, this one's my favorite. It's a little bit more expensive. This is the 3.4, yeah, 3.4 fluid ounce Eau de Parfum. And it's supposed to last a little bit longer on your skin. You're supposed to not have to reapply this as often as the Eau de Toilettes. <laughs> I think I said it right that time. This is so nice. It's like a sweet floral fragrance, but it's light and it's quite unique, I think. Um, 10 years ago, it was very unique to me. I'd never smelled anything like it before, but 
Mm, this stuff smells so good. I've just been pulling this out to use a little bit more frequently because I want to use this up, this bottle up this year because I've had around for, this will be in December, I'll have had it for three years. So I'm just over the two year mark on this perfume and it's going a smidgen more yellow. I try to keep it out of the light. I try to keep it in a drawer in the dark and kind of in a cool area, but I just don't want the fragrance to change on this, so I'm trying to use this up this year. I've been just using it a little bit more frequently and I've fallen back in love with it. And another thing that I've been enjoying is wearing a really bright blue color in the waterline. And I seem to be leaning more towards like an aqua blue. So I have a couple different options that I've been wearing throughout the month of March. The first one is actually a product that I received from Octoly and I received it from the brand through Octoly. Octoly is kind of like the middleman, but I got this for free. This is a $30 item. This is the Clarins Four Color All-in-One Pen. It's for your eyes and lips. You have three eyeliners up here and one lip liner, but there's a black, brown, blue eyeliner. Then there's a warm nude color for your lips as a lip liner, but this blue color is just gorgeous. I can apply this in the waterline, but it doesn't stay very long. That's it right there. But this item is perfect to have in your purse or your gym bag or something to have easy access to for touch-ups. So even though it kind of comes out of my waterline after about an hour and a half, I can actually just pull it out of my purse and just reapply a little bit. So that is the one from the Clarins pen. I really like this guy here. And then I also have one that I wore a little bit throughout the month of March. This one's from Makeup Forever. This one is in 12L, I think it is, yeah. And I just have a tiny little bit of this guy left, but this one's so pretty. I think it has this really unique sheen to it. And there's just, I think this one might be my favorite out of all of them. So after I use this up, I would most definitely want to repurchase this again in the future after I use up some of my other kind of blue eyeliners that I just use for the waterline. So this was the Clarins one. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Liner in 12L right over here. Like I said, it just has the slightest sheen to it. I really like this color in the waterline. It looks beautiful, smudged out underneath the bottom lash line. So gorgeous. And then I have two fluid lines from MAC. This is the one that I wore the most. This one is Blue Peep. I wore this not too long ago in one of my recent videos. I think it was my Pan That Palette two month update. I think that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was because I had a gold and teal eye look, but this one's a little bit more aqua, I guess, but these are so beautiful. The fluid lines from MAC, I don't have any issues with them. They go on pretty opaque for me. They stay in my waterline. I can wear them as an actual liner. They can also be used as a cream base or a cream eyeshadow. So you can either dab them all over your lid and blend them out and just wear them on their own or you can put them on the lid and then kind of smudge them and put a dry eyeshadow over the top. Let me give you a little swatch of this. This one's not going to be a perfect swatch because I forgot to grab one of my brushes. All right, so that was Clarins Makeup Forever and then this is Blue Peep. It just looks gorgeous in the waterline, so. That is it there. These are pretty much waterproof for me. I forgot to mention this one, Blue Peep, is a permanent one, but this one that I'm talking about next, Royal Wink, is the shade name. This one was limited edition, but they have released it since, they've released it a couple times, so. Uh, that is the color. I hope it's showing up as vibrant in the video as it is in real life. It is just fluorescent almost. It looks like the Sinful Colors Nail Polish in Endless Blue. That nail polish reminds me of this fluid line right here. Gorgeous gel liner. Like I said, you can wear this one not only as a liner, but also as, you know, a cream base, smudge it under the bottom lash line. I just think these are so versatile, so. 
That is Royal Wink right there. Very intense. They do dry down matte, and after they set, they really don't budge. You're gonna have a little bit of trouble smudging these guys off. So that one was Max Royal Wink. This is Max Blue Peep. Makeup Forever Aqua Liner in 12L. And then this last one on the end is from the Clarins Four Color All-in-One Pen. And that's just the blue color out of there. So I've just been enjoying pairing something in my waterline or under the bottom lash line. And I've really been enjoying blue. I think I'm just getting spring fever a little bit. So those were really fun liners that I've been playing around with a little bit. And then I have a hair product here. This one actually showed up in my February or March? I think it was my March box, my Sephora Play box. This is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast Instant Lasting Volume and Texture Spray. Now this is actually something that has a dual purpose for me. So this can actually be used as not only a volume spray, but also a little bit of a dry shampoo. I love the scent on this. When I use this up, I am seriously considering repurchasing this just for the fragrance alone. This scent of this product lasts all day long. I get whiffs of it every time that I kind of turn my head here and there. Just randomly throughout the day, I'll get a whiff of this. And if you enjoy the fragrance, then you're definitely gonna enjoy that. But if you're not a fan of the fragrance, that'll probably be a drawback or a negative for you. So if you got this in your Sephora Play Box, try using it as a dry shampoo if you don't use a volume spray. I have a really hard time using a volume spray and not having it look frizzy. I used a different volume spray in my hair today and it just left my hair looking super frizzy. You can see it mostly on this side. So this one doesn't make my hair nearly as frizzy as the one that I used today, but Anyway, there was that one. I have two other products. This first one, this is a skincare product. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It says on here, it's infused with all powerful guarana extract. I think I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I had a horrible time stumbling over all of the ingredient names on this product, but I will go ahead and link my review that I did with this product. This was actually sent to me from Octoly as well. I think the review video that I have, I reviewed both of these in the same video. So I'll link that down there in case you're curious, but I am not being sponsored to talk about these products. I just really love this item. This one is it has this very subtle sheen to it. I've enjoyed this so much that I've used up about half of this product already now. It's a very light pale yellow shade, but it goes on clear with that slight sheen to your skin. It'll be beautiful on the legs in the summertime with a slight tan, I think. I'm really excited about that. I'm trying to ration this out so that I have a little bit left for the summer, but I'm thinking I might purchase a backup of this guy during the April VIB sale from Sephora, but that is what it looks like there. This sucker is pretty pricey. I do know that they have a smaller travel size that's pretty decently priced, I think, but the scent on this is just fantastic. It's a very sweet scent. I, I think they described it as pistachio and salted caramel. Love this stuff, beautiful fragrance, feels very silky on the skin, it absorbs up really fast, but your skin still stays hydrated and moisturized for hours after you applied this. So definitely enjoy this if you're thinking about it. I say bite the bullet, try the travel size out if you want to, and I did see that if you just enjoy the fragrance on this, um, they did just release a body spray of the fragrance that's in this product here, so check that out if you're just interested in the fragrance part of it. And then the last item is something that I pulled out recently, and this has been in a couple of my favorites videos. I just stopped using it because it was up at the top of my closet in some of my I have a hair bin up there that I keep some of my backup hair products. I was up there looking for some shampoo or something. I can't remember what I was looking for, but I saw that I had put this back up in there. So I pulled this guy out and I've been enjoying it ever since. I've been using this for about, I don't know, two, two and a half weeks now. Oh, this stuff is so good. It definitely 
makes the ends of my hair feel so incredibly smooth. This makes my hair feel like I just got a trim and I am in dire need of a trim for my hair. So this is the Chi Silk Infusion Silk Reconstructing Complex. It's paraben free, made in the USA. If you like a cologne sort of fragrance or a unisex fragrance, this one is definitely incredibly delicious. It just smells so good. It's a very thin kind of oil texture almost, but it's super silky feeling in the hands and you just rub it in and then I just kind of pat my my palms off on a towel and my hair just feels amazing for the rest of the day. You can put it on wet or dry hair. I actually put it on the ends of my hair today when it was dry and I put it on my hair last night when I showered. I think personally I can see more results if I put it on dry hair. It leaves a little bit more of a shiny finish to the hair and it just looks healthier. So that is everything that I wanted to kind of touch on for this month of March for my favorites. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.